Hello everyone, welcome to day 25 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. And today we are talking about whether you should eat the frog or not. Where does this frog come from? If you're familiar with the productivity literature a bit, there's a very famous book called Eat That Frog, written by Brian Tracy. And in this book, Tracy recommends basically to just start the day, the most difficult, tedious, oh, annoying, frustrating task so that you're clear of it, so that you're rid of it. And then you can continue the rest of the day with easier tasks, which would keep your productivity on a higher level, basically. Maybe you have already read this book or heard this advice. And I'm wondering if you did, whether you are using this advice. And in this video, I will give you my two cents about eating the frog first thing in the morning. So in general, I'm okay with this idea and I do try to schedule some difficult tasks early in the morning, but many days I see myself struggling to get there, have myself eat that frog first thing in the morning. Because personally, I need to build momentum in my day. I need to build my energy and focus by starting with lighter tasks and then go for the big ones, but not later in the day, still rather early so that I still have high energy. So if you're someone who's like me, who have heard this advice, who have read this advice and pushed yourself to act accordingly, and if that hasn't worked for you, that's okay. It's okay to eat the frog a bit later once you have built that momentum energy and focus in your day. Let me know in the comments at what time in the day you eat that frog. Also, please like this video and subscribe to this channel and share these videos with your colleagues, with your friends who would also benefit from these tips and tricks I'm talking about every day. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another video. Until then, mind your own revisions.